Our top focus as of now, the United Nations has released a damning report today on Xinjiang. It is a report that was long due. For nearly three years, the United Nations has been sitting on this, but now they have finally released it. It accused China of some serious human rights violations in Xinjiang in particular. The report talks about possible crimes of humanity committed against the Uyghurs, but stops short of calling it a genocide. In fact, we have an excerpt from the long-awaited report for you. The report says the extent of arbitrary and discriminatory detention of members of the Uyghur and other predominantly Muslim groups may constitute international crimes, in particular crimes against humanity. Not just that, there were some other damning allegations as well. Allegations of patterns of torture or ill-treatment. Two, credible indications of violation of reproductive rights. And three, discrimination on religious and ethnic grounds. But the UN report does not go all the way. This is something that the world knew all along. Nearly one million Uyghurs are imprisoned in labor camps. Some are forcibly sterilized. Others have been tortured and raped. Countries say that China is committing a genocide here. But the UN report does not go that far. It doesn't use that word. Instead, it says that Beijing may have committed crimes against humanity. But even with this cautious wording, human rights groups have cheered the release of this report. Many thought it would never see the light of day. This is because China has tried to kill it multiple times. Beijing has vehemently rejected the claims. It says it is running vocational centers designed to curb extremism. Beijing, in fact, described the UN report as a farce. The OHCHR has fabricated the report based on the political plot of some anti-China external forces. It seriously violates the duty of the OHCHR and seriously violates the principles of universality, objectivity, non-selectivity and non-politicization. Again, it demonstrates that the OHCHR has already been reduced to a thug and accomplice of the US and West, forcing the developing countries to fall in line with them. Xinjiang is the largest region of China. It is also one of the most tightly controlled provinces. 45% of the population here is a minority Uyghur Muslims. It saw development as China's economy gathered pace, but the economic development was accompanied by large-scale immigration of the Han Chinese. At the turn of the century, Han Chinese made up up to 40% of Xinjiang's population. This resulted in frequent conflicts between the Uyghur Muslims and the Han Chinese. Uyghurs, the minority, claim discrimination and marginalization. They fear their bread and butter and their cultural identity is now under threat. China says there is no place for such sentiment and brands any dissenting voice as terrorist. It was in 2009 that the world attention turned to Xinjiang. Bloody clashes erupted between the Uyghurs and the Han Chinese in Urumqi. A major city in the province, since then China has cracked down hard on Xinjiang in particular. Up to one million Uyghurs are in detention camps. These centers have been caught by satellites. They look just like school buildings, but are surrounded with barbed wire fences and protected by barriers. China calls them vocational centers. They are taught the communist ideology. Beijing calls it a way to curb extremism. The UN report has shed more light on the atrocities of the Chinese regime. In fact, it even, recommend, it even had recommendations for Beijing. It asked China to take steps to release individuals deprived of their liberty. For the Uyghurs, the report is only a half victory, but they believe that something is better than nothing. It has been five years. China kills our young people, leaves our children orphaned. So what United Nations does now is not enough. If there was any humanity in the world, China would not have done so much. This report shouldn't have come in mid-2022. There was a need for urgent investigation following the report in 2019, because this is not a situation that can be put on hold. When a nation is destroyed, it is not appropriate for humanity to watch them being destroyed for a couple of years. In this respect, this is a disappointment, but as they say in Turkish, a fault is confessed after dressed. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.